All right, Greg, exciting day that we're actually, well, a little bittersweet for us. After two years, we're gonna take your boat out yeah. of the school. Yeah, it's an exciting day for sure. Yeah. Absolutely, this um, moves on from being a uh, boat search to being a boat owner. It goes kind of quickly, actually. <laughs> kind of quick. Welcome to the Scallywags, located in the beautiful Pacific Northwest, where Skagit Valley College has been training technicians since 1968. If you are looking for industry certification and the skills to work in maritime, this is the place to visit. Our staff will share so much knowledge and experience, you will not be disappointed. The workforce demand is very high and all of our graduates are working around the world. If this sounds interesting to you, schedule a tour and come check us out. Quickly, yeah, and it's fun. We're uh, doing a little dialogue. We're talking about the, the future plans for the boat. And I'm excited because you knew what you're getting into. You got the boat and now we're talking about like, okay, let's put what kind of heater? Probably hydronic and maybe a water maker. Or where are we gonna mount that equipment? And yes. we're thinking in the maybe in that V berth, kind of like Mads, making that an equipment wall, but still, or not the V berth, in the quarter berth, quarter. making a little equipment wall with a removable panel. Yep. And yep. then you could still use it for a sea berth. Yep, absolutely. It'd be a little bit tight then uh, as a sea berth. We'll see what fits in there, but uh, mm. yeah, we'll have to use space where we got it. Where we got it. Mm -hmm. You got new sails ordered, or the, the new head sails done? New head sails are not quite done. Next two or three weeks, perhaps. Um, and I'm talking with the sailmaker about the mainsail, which will be March, perhaps. Then. Okay. And then you're still also talking about should you put a some little bat cars, little rollers on the main, and on what kind of, do you do a stack pack, a traditional cover, and so it's yep. it's cool that where you get to follow the boat because you're keeping it right here in Anacortes. Yes, it'll be here for, until, for a while. yeah, it'll be here just down the road uh, for uh, seven months, I would bet, <clears throat> May of next year, June perhaps. I'll look at getting it out of here. And then Ed taking some scallywags for a test drive. Absolutely, I yep. Yeah. I got a lot of things to do with the school still. Um, we'll do, uh, rigging we'll do a tune on the rig yep. um, we'll get out and run the motor which is nice and then the sails will be here and then we'll take uh, students or faculty out nice and then, i'm looking uh, forward to that right for sure. and the previous owner uh, wants to get out as well so yeah we'll well and and, and k and r jennifer king right they're yes. going to do the electronics yes yep okay yep. so it's all coming together you yeah. got a hydro vane to put on the back to I replace do. the one they they sold years ago yeah um yeah what a great, great thing. And also, you yeah. got to mark your calendar up. Part of the deal was you get to attend the Inside Passage weekend seminar yep. and the Offshore Sailing Seminar. So a yes. couple more weekends here in Anacortes, you can yes. be tweaking on the boat and, and get all the knowledge from us, you know, experts. We've done it a lot and yeah. from John Neal about. Yeah. So that'll be fun times too. Yeah, it'll be really good. And honestly, then the first weekend in October, you have classes. I already signed up for a yes, couple of those. Absolutely. So everything that you can learn will will be good. <laughs> That's great. Well, I think I see the lift coming across the field uh, over here. So let's go put King's Pride in, in a new spot. Yeah, yeah, very good. All right. Thanks for sharing. Yes, thank you. Here comes our lift. This was a big deal because that road, the empty field that we came in on was being developed. And the road, they were telling us was gonna be a year out before we could launch the boat. And we were like, no, no, we need to get this boat out so we can do other projects and so Greg can, can have his boat. And the problem with going the other direction out of schools, we'd had to take the mast off because of overhead wires, which is no good. So the they said, sure, on a Saturday, you can come across. North Harbor Diesel, big shout out. They donated the lift and uh, some other resources to get this boat launched and moved over to the other piece of property, which is just great. Having a, a community that supports a maritime school and a maritime industry is wonderful.
That's right. We just drive it right down the road uh, from Marine Tech all the way south past all of these boat yards and boat building facilities there in the background. No overhead wires, so we can drive boats around, sailboats specifically, mast up on the sea lift, and it's, it's just super cool. This is uh, in one of the storage yards there of North Harbor Diesels called the Shoreside one, and we pulled in there. We did have one little hiccup there. We're trying to jumpstart a lift that was uh, kind of had a dead battery in front of us. But overall, it went super smooth other than the one dead battery. Beautiful Saturday, blue sky. And uh, Greg is, of course, ecstatic. His boat's sitting here in this new location, which is really, really nice. They've got power here. They've got some little storage buildings. Got everything a person needs uh, to have a boat, you know, put here temporarily until next spring when we can... Uh, launch the boat and go out in that bay right there and go for a test sail. So we love Anacortes. Look at that. From King's Pride North is nothing but boats and marinas and maritime activities. Thanks for watching.